thank you to uh, all my co uh, these uh, resource persons dr akhilesh patak and dr vijaypal khanagwal uh, first of all i would like to congratulate and thanks dr ranjit and his team for giving this opportunity and organizing such wonderful program which are not only of adding academic uh, value to all the participant but also give uh, sense of enrichment to all uh, all the speakers so the topic selected since uh, you call me i still remember the uh, any topic of your interest so when somebody say any topic then it is very difficult to choose the topic if somebody allot that topic then it is very easy to concentrate on what content i have to deliver uh, this topic uh, medical certificate by doctor legal and ethical issues was kept for this presentation just keeping in mind the impact of this certificate on the society on the courts apex body that is now national medical commission concerned state medical council of all the states and obviously the reputation of the medical profession as we all know we are living in civilized world and we are now celebrating 75 years of amrit kal we recently celebrated 76th independence day and we all know we are governed by the indian constitution since 1950 that means our every sphere of life including medical education or health services they are governed by the constitution of india from which many law emanates originated and that is why legal knowledge is very important not only for the doctors but also to the public and the common man who are availing services of the doctors and hospital and no profession can survive without following the ethical guidelines uh, these two terms legal and ethical they are after 2002 are now overlapping with each other why i am saying this overlapping because ethics is no more a typical ethics which was uh, dreamed by hippocrates who oath are we supposed to take that means a body of rules which are made by the member of the same profession and to be followed by the members of the same profession and action will be taken by the for violation by the member of the same profession that means no external agency is involved even court is not involved in technical true terms of the ethics but when mci come into picture and they frame ethical regulation 2002 popularly known as the main title is the indian medical council professional conduct ethics and etiquette regulation 2002 which is still enforced in spite of repeal of medical council of india act 1956 and current one is national medical commission act 2019 governed by the now different boards and the board which deals with this particular issue that means issue of ethical regulation is one of the board what is called ethics and registration medical board of the national medical commission this is the apex body in our country so uh, this understanding is very important all three is a resource person we have decided to divide the topic among us so that there may not be overlapping when we go to the general definition of the medical certificate which i found from the internet a medical certificate or a doctor certificate is a formal document prepared by a healthcare professional to describe a person's state of health and it explains that the subject the person in our case patient described in the certificate is not well enough to go to work school or engage in any activity maybe job 
usually it is written before the subject asks for time off, but can also be requested later to provide an explanation why the subject did not attend work or school or employment. So this was a general definition. So the whenever we call medical certificate, usually this certificate comes in the mind. One is illness certificate. Another is after recovery fitness certificate. If anybody suffering from any sort of disability, they want benefit of person with disability act, they need disability certificate for various purposes. Immunization certificate for adults, for children. During COVID vaccination, you know, whenever you are catching a flight, you need to produce a certificate of vaccination. When you are leaving a country, entering a new country, you have to produce this certificate of vaccination. Then birth certificate. Every birth should be registered and a certificate should be given to the parent, which will be used throughout the life at different stages of life and for which there is a Birth and Death Registration Act 1969 applicable to Indian context. Similarly, death certificate, whenever anybody born, it has to face at the end a death and there is a need for the certificate. Again, during COVID-19, the issue of medical certificate come into picture due to various regions. Then in our forensic medicine or those who are dealing with casualty services, emergency services, medical legal certificate come into picture, various type of medical legal certificate. It may be injury report. It may be uh, grievous injury. Similarly, one certificate, compass mental certificate, certificate of physical and mental fitness may be needed at the time of dying declaration recording or making of testamentary capacity will to dispose of the property in anybody's name. Uh, the owner of the property has to be examined by the doctor and he has to certify that he is mentally and physically fit oriented and know what he is doing and actions of that deed of property. So these are some of the certificate which usually commonly we feel. Now come to the epidemiology part. What is the magnitude of the problem? Why we chosen this topic to be presented in con this conference? Especially in reference to legal and ethical perspective. So what are these legal and ethical perspective? So first of all, we can divide these issues into based upon the jurisdiction of action, who can take action against the doctor or the person who is using that certificate. Suppose if that certificate is not genuine one, if it is a fabricated certificate, false certificate, fraudulent certificate, then what is the impact and which this uh, authority will deal with that? So when it is a case of legal issue, it may be a civil case, that means case may go into the civil court or it may be a criminal case. If the intention or mens rea is involved in getting that certificate through fraudulent means by misrepresentation of fact, impersonation of fact, fabrication in the medical record, certificate issued by unauthorized person, not treating doctor, these are the issue where FIR can be lost and action will be taken after investigation, submission of charge sheet before the magistrate and trial by the court. And various Indian penal court sections come into picture and accordingly punishment can be awarded to the culprit, maybe doctor, maybe hospital administrators, or maybe beneficiary. Similarly, ethical issues where this issue of fraudulent certificate or certificate issued in violation of ethical regulation 2002, especially chapter seven, chapter one, which deals with these issues of law and certificate 
especially there is a provision of certificate uh, in a prescribed format, which is appended to this document in appendix four. And when there is a clear cut violation, it amounts to either professional misconduct or unethical act, depending upon the gravity or the intention with which the certificate has been used. So jurisdiction is maybe National Medical Commission. And that means anybody may can come make a complaint before the National Medical Commission, which will forward to the Ethics and Medical Registration Board. And ultimately, either they can hear this case directly through the Ethics Committee, or they may forward that complaint to the concerned state medical council. I will discuss certain case law also related to this topic to make the picture clear or make my statement more authenticated. A person can file direct complaint to the concerned state medical council. As we all know, health care is a state subject. That is why every state government has created a state medical council in their state, which is regulating the conduct of the medical professional. Uh, here, I will like to mention neither National Medical Commission nor the State Medical Council. They are playing their role as per the demand and the scenario. I will uh, discuss when they are. We are discussing the case law related. If doctor is in government job or in a private job. Whenever anybody is in a service, there are terms and conditions of service rules. And they also mention about the service misconduct, anything which is in violation of law, maybe certificate issued by the doctor or hospital administrator. So action can be taken under the concerned service rules also for misconduct and administrative failure, which is required by the law from time to time. These are some of the newspaper uh, clipping which recently appear related to this topic where issue of political and administrative pressure on the concerned doctors or medical board reported by the media. This is a statement and newspaper, Danik Jagran, where ex-Indian Medical Association president, Dr. Vinay Agarwal, uh, put forward his view on this. Whenever a politician is arrested due to either due to corruption or any reason, there is a immediately medical checkup has to be done. And when the medical checkup is done, they usually found ill, suffering from various diseases. And ultimately, in, in spite of the, they, their uh, clear uh, that evidence before the agencies and court, they are not sent to the jail or judicial custody, but admitted to the hospital where they are getting their benefit. So that create a distrust between the these investigating agency, court, and medical profession. And also with the public, when they are reading this newspaper and nobody is making these clarification, who is right, who is wrong, what is the actual rules, regulation governing this certificate or medical board report? So this is the issue where issue of morality. That means when the general public is not following the what is right or wrong in respect to that uh, standard of that society or community, and when it is violation of the ethical guidelines, it is with the medical profession. Another scenario, when the patient, uh, the, the, the person is convicted by the court of law and he is behind the bar in the jail, prison, then they need periodic checkup. And during those checkup, these issues emerge. So this is Times of India News, 7th May, 2022, where high court orders inquiry into medical certificate given by doctors favoring the convict. So this is from Life Care Hospital. Another newspaper, the New Indian Express, mentioned the same news. Another Times of India newspaper mentioning the same news on 7th May 2022. 
डॉक्टर इन डॉक फॉर इशुइंग मेडिकल सर्टिफिकेट टू कन्विक्ट फॉर पेरोल सो यू कैन सी विद दीज न्यूज पेपर हेडिंग वेयर दिस इशू कम्स एज ए डिस रिप्यूट टू द होल मेडिकल प्रोफेशन बाई फॉल्ट ऑफ फ्यू ऑफ अस another news item from the state of up noida where probe ordered at br ambedkar hospital for fake certificate issue here if you really believe this news there was a deal between doctor and the patient of starting from 20000 rupees and which finally settled at rupees 8000 to give a report in favor of patient to make a fake case against somebody else who who's to be that person that patient indulge in some sort of assault so x ray is needed where there need to be if it is a case of fracture obviously grievous injury come into picture so these are some of the instances where this topic is very important now another news item from the state of rajasthan where court mentioned lack of guidelines on medical certificate irx rajasthan high court so can you imagine we are in 2022 and guidelines have been framed in year 2002 before that there was guidelines but now they are regulation a regulation under indian medical council act 1956 what does it mean it means there is a law regulation is nothing but law which has to be enforced in uh, known to everybody both to the doctor and the community those who are taking benefit from the doctor so if you believe this 2017 news of the rajasthan high court why nobody is aware of these guidelines there is need for introspection by all same news in the another newspaper not only uh, this uh, uh, this another state haryana where this news item mentioned that somebody use making use of this technology hack that website of government and issues birth certificate by charging money so these are the some of the terms which are important which may appear in my lecture like morality for the general public if they are not following the standard of the community ethics for the medical professional law when there is a statute or act especially health law when there are rules regulation frame say for example under the mtp act uh, pcp and dt act and uh, biomedical waste rules and there are if there is a gap in the law executive order or instruction issued from time to time by the authorities which are called administrative law related to this topic so that is why there is a use of word offense when there is a clear cut violation of any indian penal code section dealing with this topic if there is violation of service rule it may be called service misconduct professional misconduct for ethical regulation 2002 chapter 7 violation in famous and ethical act these are some of the terminology which are used whenever there is an inquiry either by the state medical council national medical commission or the in service matter by the concerned appointing authority principle of natural justice need to be followed by the inquiry authority now just to expand the meaning and scope of the definition mean my first slide which was the general definition but this i took from the ethical regulation 2000 to one of the uh, regulation which mention certificate means medical certificate any not notification we have to give many notification say for example during covid all the covid positive patient has to be notified to the government concerned authority at district level from district to the state states to the national uh, central government and central government to the who various report medical legal report or other reports for statistical purpose we have to submit to the different authority any document which is 
as a result of interaction between doctor and patient in professional capacity, maybe medical record, maybe discharge summary, they are also part of the medical certificate. So broad term is medical record because it is mentioned other documents of similar character. Signed by doctor in his professional capacity for subsequent use either in the court of law for administrative purposes like insurance claim, compensation claim, COVID-19 death, etc. So since time is very less, I'm skipping many slides which may be repeated by Dr. Vijay Pal sir. So this is uh, uh, chapter one of the ethical regulation which have mentioned ki what are the requirements and what are the rights of the patient and duty of the doctor. That to, doctor has to maintain medical record of the inpatient and preserve for three years from the date of discharge. And the format is prescribed in appendix three. Similarly, if a request is made by the patient or their authorized attendant or legal authority, it has to be submitted given within 72 hours. Uh, uh, when this regulation 1.33, that means again chapter one mentioned about this, uh, doctor shall not omit to record signature or thumbnail of the patient, his address, residential address available with the doctor and hospital. At least one identification mark should be put on the certificate or the report. This will help in checking or preventing the certificate should not be handed over to the wrong person or somebody other who is not actual uh, this uh, authorized to receive this certificate. Uh, new practice is to put photograph also of the patient on the certificate. In Delhi, this is very prevalent, good practice. Then medical certificate is prescribed under appendix two up to again ethical regulation 2002. And where the, it has been mentioned, efforts shall be made to computerize medical record for quick retrieval. Here there is a conflict because there is no amendment, no clarification. Many medical council mentioned certificate should be handwritten. When it is computerized, when it is part of your hospital information management system, computerization of whole, uh, hospital record, it is usually digitally signed. So it, there is no question of handwritten certificate. Court on many occasions has given direction that medical legal report, even postmortem report, they should be computerized so that legibility, issue of legibility or writing can be sorted out. Display of registration number is also mandatory in all the prescription certificate money received so that doctor can be identified who has issued this certificate. And if it is, there is anything violation, doctor should be held liable. Because there are many quacks who are also issuing this certificate to differentiate that display of registration number is mandatory. Similarly, display of suffix so that again, to make authentication of your qualification and patient is able to understand who you are. Again, ethical regulation in regulation 1.9 mentioned about the evasion of legal restriction. And there are the many acts mentioned in this document where doctor has to issue medical certificate. Say for example, fourth one, Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act. If a patient is a government employee or working in anywhere in private sector, they need to take this maternity leave for which they need this certificate. And this act was in, started in 1971. Medical board record or certificate is needed either by the court whenever dispute arises. So these are the list of to give this certificate. Uh, what is mentioned again, the, the act rules regulation, maybe central act or local administrative body. What do you mean by local administrative body? Panchayat Raj institution, municipal corporation, panchayat. They issue also authorized to issue certain certificate, especially birth and death certificate. 
So here again, uh, this should be kept in mind. And not only doctor, but the physician as a citizen, doctor has certain duty towards the paramedical and public. And they should help in enforcement of the law, including law, health law related to this certificate. Chapter 7 of this Ethical Regulation 2002 is specifically Regulation 1.3, 1.32, 1.42, Regulation 7.1, 2, 3, and 7.7 .7 deals with medical certificate, medical record, which if in violation, punishment can be imposed by the State Medical Council or National Medical Commission. In brief, what is written here? Any violation of regulation, that means any violation of chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and whatever mentioned in chapter 7, starting from 7.12, 7.22, they all call professional misconduct. That means definition is not in defined term. It is in terms of examples, the violation of this particular thing amounts to professional misconduct. So these are things which are part of chapter 1, 1.32, 1.42. So these are the questions we should know. What amount to professional misconduct? Who can take action for professional misconduct? What penalty can be imposed? What is the actual penalty? Who will award that penalty? When penalty may be imposed, issue of compensation, say for example, in COVID-19 case, or death due to natural calamities. Nowadays, this death due to snake bite, where government has to give four lakh compensation to the next of the kin. I will discuss case study from Delhi Medical Council, Tamil Nadu Medical Council, and certain judgment of the High Court and Supreme Court. Chapter 710, authorized doctor to issue certificate of efficiency, but not to unqualified and non-medical person. They should be proper, either nursing student or paramedical student to whom you are giving training under that institution. Chapter 7.14 had mentioned about the notification of certain diseases which are communicable, which may spread very fast in the community to prevent that further uh, spread and to protect the health of others which are not affected till date, there is a need for notification. Say for example, notification of TB is now punishable offense and notification of HIV under section 269-270 of IPC, but hardly it has been restricted. Even doctor not knowing and they are uh, maybe punished by the concerned authority when somebody gave the complaint. Then what is the punishment? So that depends upon the what under what circumstances, what type of professional misconduct doctor was indulged in. Chapter eight, uh, the regulation eight point two mentioned give upon whenever there is a complaint, uh, disciplinary committee of the concerned council has to make inquiry following the principle of natural justice, where doctor has to be given a fair opportunity to present his case, to defend his case. And if found guilty, he may be awarded punishment as deemed necessary, depending upon the effect of that particular case, may be directed to remove altogether or for a specified period, his name from the state medical register or Indian medical register. That means he cannot practice for that particular time or he cannot hold the job for that particular period. So these are the, some of the questions which we should understood as a member of medical professional. What is the role of state medical council? Now National Medical Commission or Ethics and Medical Registration Board. Various professional association, in our case, Indian Academy of Forensic Medicine, Indian Medical Association, other professional bodies. So what is their role in enforcement of Ethical Regulation 2002? or now draft 2022 may be notified very shortly. If a notice is uh, received by the doctor for alleged involvement in an ethical act or professional misconduct, how we will face that inquiry, especially if related to fake medical certificate allegation? What are the remedies available 
when penalty is imposed to the doctor, whether there is a provision of appeal, if appeal, what is the procedure, whether a person can go directly to the high court, concerned high court, or maybe to the Supreme Court, depending upon the facts of the case, how deterrence can be created among the delinquent physician, those who are not respecting these ethical regulation and indulge in unethical act and professional misconduct. What is the time frame within which action may be taken? Everything is mentioned in this document itself. So punishment I have mentioned, regulation 8.3. And after expiry of that period of punishment, name has to be restored again in the register so that he can get all the privileges of registered medical practitioner. And time limit prescribed under this regulation 8.4 is within seven, six months from the date of receipt of complaint in writing. And there are pendency of complaint and state medical councils are not taking timely action. In that case, now NMC may request to transfer the application to the National Medical Commission Ethics and Registration Board for quick retrieval and disposal of cases. This is now first case which I am going to discuss most important case in a current scenario, multiple litigation has been made and the latest judgment by the Madras High Court delivered on 16th of August. Today, 25th August, final judgment was delivered in this particular case on 16th August 2022. It was related to fraudulent medical certificate. So this is the newspaper item which mentioned Three doctors suspended by Tamil Nadu Medical Council. Who were these three doctors? What was the issue? Issue was related to a patient who was admitted in the ICU of the Fortis Hospital of Malar in Chennai, where this patient was admitted having a property worth more than 50 crore and have dependent. One is son, wife, and two daughters. So there was a dispute of property among the family members. This is the uh, news appear in the medical dialogue on 22nd August after deliver of the judgment on 16th August. Madras High Court upholds Medical Council order barring doctor from practice for two years for issue of fake certificate. So actually in this particular case, three doctors were involved as per the news item, but when I gone through the actual judgment, picture was more little bit clear. That is why it is important to not just uh, believe the newspaper alone because they are not doing much research. They are just getting information from different sources and making it highlight or breaking news. So in this case, the first doctor, Dr. S. Radha Krishnan, who was the father-in-law of the diseased son, or you can say Samadhi of disease, who was not actually the treating doctor, but he issued a certificate in favor of that uh, son-in-law. When the patient was on ventilator, patient was critical, and he issued a certificate of compassmentis, technically called compassmentis, otherwise it is mentally and physically fit patient and in a position to travel even outside the hospital ICU. And that certificate, he, this doctor was not the treating doctor. He was just visiting as a relative to see the patient, but due to malified intention, he issued this certificate. Taking advantage of that certificate, his son-in-law, with the help of local sub-registrar, getting transferred in the form of deed of all the property his father-in-law in his favor, which is worth 150, more than 50 crore. And treating doctors were this Dr. P. Basumani, last one. And 
two other doctor, Dr. Praveen Nilgar, who was the medical superintendent at the time of patient was admitted. Later on, he left the hospital and currently the Dr. Anand Mohan Pai was the medical superintendent. So in this case, you see four doctors name appear. One was relative. And here I will uh, request all of you, those who are from medical background, who are privileged to issue certificate, please think 100 times before issuing any certificate to your relative. Because here conflict of interest come into picture. And this type of complication may arise with you. Dr. Praveen was the medical superintendent. That means the hospital administrators are also held responsible for this issue of certificate. And Dr. Anand Mohan later on, that means after the certificate was issued in year 2015, September. And the case was finalized in 2022. This more than seven year duration, everybody faced this mental trauma of these litigations and case before the Medical Council or the Minnaru Medical Council. This uh, first doctor was not uh, uh, responsible for anything because he had not issued any certificate. But certificate issued was of that duration, not from the hospital, but by the third doctor, which is not treating physician, Dr. S. Radha Krishna. So without going into delay, de detail, Tamil Nadu Medical Council also uh, take action against the Dr. Praveen, which was later on uh, revoked or uh, removed. Similarly, Dr. P. Basumani, who was a treating physician under whom the patient was admitted, not is involved in issue of the certificate, but the complaint has been made that this patient was admitted. So without further inquiry, they take action against these all doctors. And again, the, the, they, they, all these doctors again approach the High Court, Madras High Court on in different petition. And finally, this Dr. S. Radha Krishnan case finalized on the 16th August 2022, confirming the removal of name from state medical register for two years and confirming his involvement in criminal conspiracy with the son-in-law and FIR is laws against him. Case is pending for disposal. But Dr. P. Vasumani was not involved in any, any way and medical record when asked by the Tamil Nadu Medical Council, it gives different picture. According to medical record, patient was not in a position to move from the bed. He was what we call death bed, on death bed. And uh, patient was on ventilator itself. And the, 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 the deed of that property did mention place of deed and where thumb of the patient was taken on the every page of the deed while the patient was a literate one. This, lit, this thumb impression created doubt in the mind of one of the daughter of disease. He make a complaint to the National Medical Commission, MCI, and to the 10 Tamil Nadu Medical Council and filed FIR and filed civil suit before the case, uh, this uh, civil court and also criminal court it, case is also pending. Certificate was issued without the knowledge of the treating doctor and patient thumb impression were taken. A copy of uh, FIR filed against four person. Uh, this was the name of registrar who was in conspiracy with the, the doctor who issued the certificate and the son of the disease. Mr. M. G. Dhamu. He was suspended from the services. And uh, the certificate mentioned patient was not on ventilator and was conscious and oriented. While the hospital record mentioned patient in confused and disoriented and not in a position to travel outside the ICU. The entry is the record hospital care different from the version of the medical certificate. When this doctor superintendent was asked for clarification by the Tamil Nadu Medical Council, this picture become clear. Uh, uh, the hospital record updated October 8, 2015 mentioned the patient was in ICU, ICU 
and not only as if he was confused and disoriented. That means he is not in a position to make a valid will or disposal of property in anybody's favor. And treating doctor was Dr. P. Basuman. After detailed inquiry, the committee, means ethical committee of the disciplinary committee of the Tamil Nadu Medical Council found that the respondent had issued a fake medical certificate to help a relative, Sakti Kumar, to get property through fraudulent settlements deed two days before, before the death of the patient. The committee concluded that Dr. Radhakrishnan, Dr. Nilgar, Dr. P. Basumani found guilty and punishment has been given, which later on, uh, Dr. P. Basumani was exonerated because principle of natural justice not followed in this inquiry. Multiple litigation are pending before the Madras High Court, including criminal, civil, loss of reputation, the whole medical profession, just by action of one of the our Kali. Long pendency of court cases due to these fake cases or unnecessary litigation cases. Unnecessary financial loss suffered by all doctors facing trial and by the patient side. Trauma to the petitioner, which court observed, forced to approach different court and running from pillar to post to get actual right in the benefit of the property of his own father. Another case law, where a service matter come into picture from the Madhya Pradesh High Court. So what I want to say, this is not the problem of any one state, but the pan-India problem, where these cases coming before the court. In this particular case, a medical teacher or like Siksha Mitra, he used uh, different documents of the doctor, and prepared a fake medical certificate itself where issue of signature, that means certificate has no signature. And the patient who was claiming this certificate benefit was male, but the certificate mentioned gender as female because he was not literate one, uh, he is not uh, familiar with the English. False statements are mentioned like patient is in labor while the patient was a male patient. He just get some OPD slip from the hospital, maybe through uh, that uh, connivance with the hospital staff. And FIR was lost under section 468, 471, and such other provision as for the direction of the Madra, Madhya Pradesh High Court for the criminal prosecution of the that particular case. So these are the section which deals with these type of cases. I'm just passing on because time is less and I have to discuss two more cases. This is a fake medical certificate case from again from the state of UP where emergency medical officer, most of the cases of medical nature reach the casualty or emergency department where doctor has to give certificate. So this Times of India news of 2016, ban on doctor issuing medical certificate to out patient at a SN medical conference. So my sincere request again to all those who are attending this workshop, please register yourself in issuing a certificate in OPD until unless you have proper document, proper medical record as per the regulation 2002. Otherwise, you will be in trouble. In this case, when the principal of that uh, SN Medical College Agra visited the uh, emergency department after receiving complaint of issuing this fake certificate, by one medical officer, casualty medical officer, Dr. AKC. And he found one certificate with the patient in casualty at that particular time. And when he gone through, the patient was healthy, moving, and had certificate the patient having serious injury, while only minor scratches were there on, the, on his body. So ultimately, principal Dr. Eskegar issued order, show court notice, and uh, order for not issuing medical certificate of medical legal nature to OPD patients. Again, news item in the uh, Times of India. Another case law related to present crisis of COVID-19. And here this case reached up to the Honorable Supreme Court. Attention of court has been drawn. And attention of the WHO, World Health Organization, where after uh, the, one of the comment, official comment of the WHO authorities, there was more than 47 lakh 
death in India due to COVID-19. You all know there are a lot of political pressure from different ministry or disclose death as COVID-19. So again, there is a conflict between data produced by the WHO and the data claimed by the government of India. Ultimately, there was a provision under Article 21 of the Indian Constitution for loss of life of anybody due to unnatural cause. A compensation has to be given by the concerned government, maybe state government, maybe state uh, central government, and under Disaster Management Act 2005. And after the complaint received by the Supreme Court, PIL filed before the Supreme Court, a direction was issued for constitution of a committee at each district in throughout India so that patient relative can get certificate easily and without following any hardship. And they will be awarded compensation of rupees 50,000 under SDRF, State Disaster Relief Fund. So this is from my place where this committee has been formed after the Supreme Court judgment, where we issued various certificate. But this news item says, Corona se maut par muhabze ke jhoote daago ki ho sakti hai jaanch. So you know, there was a greed among the many person, maybe in connivance with the hospital authorities, uh, CMO, district administration, fake claim of insurance due to COVID death. And for which there is a need for the death certificate. And who will issue that certificate? Obviously, hospital and doctor. This was again news item from Hindustan. Parji COVID met the Praman Patrice Supreme Court Chintit. So Honorable Apex Court has shown his worry about the issue of these fake certificate for fake claim under the COVID relief fund. And court has mentioned about the use of issue of morality. That is why I use the term morality. Morality for the general public. General, there is degradation in our value system. That is why these cases are coming before the Supreme Court. So there is a very less time left. So I'm just passing on what is the actual observation of the Supreme Court. Court mentioned about the false claim. Court mentioned about the false certificate for ex gratia compensation given by the state government of rupees 50,000, although a request was for rupees 4 lakh for each kin of family who died due to COVID-19. Uh, Union of India under the National Disaster Management Act uh, provided financial help to the concerned state, depending upon the resources of the state. Court has mentioned keeping in humanity and suffering of the family member who lost their member of family member, those family member who are earning member, who is uh, the, running their bread and butter of their family, they lost their life. So who will take care of their family member? That is why this gray amount has been given on the direction of the Supreme Court. And court has mentioned nobody can be permitted to misuse the same against the morality and is unethical, can never be accepted. So you Supreme Court used the word morality and unethical. And after the Supreme Court judgment of 24 March 2000, 2022 in writ petition 539 of 2021, proper advertisement, publicity among the, of, through newspaper, print media, so that public become aware of what is the procedure because there was no defined protocol or procedure for issue of the death certificate of due to COVID. Even there is no definition which death may be called COVID-19. What should be the duration? Because our experience through the clinical knowledge that even patients are not undergoing RT-PCR test. When they are not going under RT-PCR test because the testing capacity was not as per the requirement of this epidemic, pandemic. And when there is no RT-PCR, only some patient coming with the CT report, with the CT score in favor of this COVID-19. Many deaths occur in the home. They are not able to reach the hospital, but they were clear-cut cases of 
covid 19 as per the symptomatology so to sort out this problem so that court has given direction and advertisement in different newspaper media to the government so that actual beneficiary will be given benefit of this relief fund that receiving the ex gratia compensation by making first claim or submitting first claim is very serious matter what are the and court remind all of us the section 52 of the disaster management act 2005 is a punishable offense and section 188 ipc can be utilized for violation of this section 52 and as per the report of the supreme court judgment more than 7 lakh 38610 claims are received while who reported 47 lakhs and uh, government authority say it may be very difficult to verify each and every claim and there is a need for random sample scrutiny to find out false claim and ultimately court direction for this uh, scrutiny and on the request ki it is not possible with the infrastructure and manpower available only 5% of the total claim randomly selected and scrutinized for death audit and death certificate audit another case study from the death uh, this delhi medical council interesting i will take hardly 5 or 6 minute more uh, uh, this was a case again from emergency department of one of the hospital from the delhi holy angel hospital where a patient approached the doctor dr vikas patel in the emergency and complainant was sri sr singh making complaint for death certificate issued by the doctor to his son who was there death patient admitted on 3rd october in the casualty for the pain in abdomen uh, as per the patient complaint he requested doctor for uh, get ecg done uh, doctor also uh, did this ecg but he reported is as a normal is and said assured the patient side that patient will be well and discharge the patient immediately as for the patient as he gone outside and purchasing medicine suddenly patient fall and fallen from stair and ultimately collapsed and died patient immediately brought again to the casualty where doctor initially declared it as a broad dead case and later on he issued a certificate of natural death and cause of death as a pulmonary cardio pulmonary arrest but the again the story cooked up so these were the some of the issue which were discussed in this particular case there was no police intimation which is supposed to be in broad death cases patient was young one patient was having insurance life insurance so he has to take claim after death by the, their kin and kith there was no post mortem recommended or done to find out the cause of death uh, as per the report of the delhi medical council it was done deliberately by doctor so that cause of death cannot be ascertained and case of medical negligence can not be made against the doctor and hospital when the case was rejected by the insurance company then complaint has been so when we go to the this whole uh, this uh, judgment of the delhi medical council which was delivered on 21st august 2017 by the disciplinary committee of delhi medical council confirmed by the delhi medical council on 24th august 2017 these are the observation days wise so i am just passing on here initially natural death certificate was issued but after this hue and cry doctor endorsed in the same certificate that it is a death due to accident and when again query was raised by post mortem was not done he again said it was apparently accidental case and that is why he has not advised or recommended for the to the inform the police so here doubt created and this is violation of the medico legal protocol and uh, dmc mentioned about the behavior and conduct of the doctor he said that he is not worthy to be a doctor he violated indian medical council professional conduct etiquette and ethics regulation 2002 a case was on 24 november 2014 death for certificate 
to support the insurance claim by icsa lombard was issued in connivance with by doctor so these are some of the observation we should have sought the expert uh, again a complaint was made by the patient father that he asked for the uh, call some cardiologist or expert doctor to look after his son but dr emo uh, ignored this advice and given clear clean chit that ecg is normal uh, when uh, this ecg was examined by the delhi medical council committee they found there was changes in the uh, ecg so post mortem could have confirmed the cause of death here dr patel was aided in not initiating mlc finding uh, initiation for mlc by informing the police post mortem would have been helpful to establish the exact cause of death beyond reasonable doubt patel was guilty for medical negligence in treatment of the patient this negligence appeared to be result of professional incompetence not deliberate here delhi medical council favored the doctor they said it is not deliberate no intention but due to he was not qualified or not experienced one to help uh, take up this case of pain in the uh, chest or abdomen radiating to the arm the uh, here uh, observation about the hospital administration administration of hospital holy angel hospital had in leaving casualty or emergency and even icu services to a doctor who was not competent enough to handle them alone dr vikas patel failure to call for expert opinion was perhaps responsible for the unfortunate turn of the event led to the death of mr joginder singh medical superintendent at that time dr anup raj another issue come out the anup raj was not registered with the delhi medical council he was registered with the Uh, karnataka medical council he taken registration initially with the delhi medical council because any appointment in any hospital whether government or private there is a compulsory registration by the delhi medical council but there is a need for renewal of the certificate every five year that renewal was not done that means delhi medical council technically cannot take action against the medical superintendent dr anubra so they recommended this uh, removal of name or disciplinary action to the karnataka medical council because that is the actual body where there was no provision of renewal of registration they choose to rescue absolve themselves completely display lack of responsibility and administrative skill because during inquiry dr hospital anu who was the medical man totally shown ignorance about the issue of this medical certificate while medical certificate has endorsement in the form of signature of the medical certificate only when his claim was rejected by the insurance company then only the issue of medical negligence again raised by the patient side and there was another reformative approach of, uh, uh, applied by the delhi medical council by not allowing this removing the name of the doctor for 365 year 365 days but also doctor directed to undergo 15 hours continue medical education that is why we are sitting in this cme or workshop on the topic casualty and emergency medicine and some submission of compliance report to the delhi medical council the punishment of removal of name of dr vikas patel by this recommended by disciplinary committee for 365 day while delhi medical council executive council found it harsh punishment for that offence and they reduced to half to 180 days removal from the state medical register again favor given to the dr uh, vikas patel and there is also recommendation of initiation of criminal prosecution against dr anupraj under section 153 of the indian medical council act 1956 practicing without registration without valid registration or without non removal of registration uh, here various question what is the role of medical council what is the role of dmc duty of hospital administration duty of cmo for appointing say, this incompetent person not ordering for pm examination medical police information so these are some of the question now i thank all of you for patiently hearing me i 
think I have just exceeded 10 minutes and uh, you should take pledge, not say no to fake medical certificate. Thank you, thank you very much. These are the references which I use for my presentation.